Morning. How are you? Today is Monday, March 14, 2011. Damn. The ends of March is tomorrow. Yeah, that's the garbage truck. Pick it up the garbage. Anyway, I'm in no hurry, are you? But this is a doozy. Because what we've got are allegations of election fraud by New York State Senator Shirley L. Huntley. That's her right there. Bang, here he is right there, Malcolm Smith. And surrounded by the clergy. And she is unbowed. Really? Well, I believe that somebody that does this, I don't know what the hell it is, but it sure don't look like no death threat to me. In the following videos, you're going to see what it's called the reef. See, when you have kind of a bunch of dumb, ignorant individuals who ain't too freaking bright that live by a still old slave code, and you can see their old faces. Yep. Poor thing. I'm sorry, man, but I am a French green card guy. She's Haitian. She's a Haiti. Mais je suis français. Mais nous te comprenons que c'est caca pour elle, nous comme t'es Non. This is election fraud. This is election fraud. This is somebody from down south who was raised in the uh, Protestant churches. And they got that old slave code, that old connect. Sorry, I was kind of born free. My people fought for their freedom. What you doing? What? What? I'm telling you, this is going to turn into that. What else do you want? Because I've got evidence that you people should take a look at. Okay? Some people may want to take a look at the Southeast Queens Press and how much money that this woman spent on advertising in order to get these favorable stories. That's the same plan. That's the exact copy of what in the hell Mike Bloomberg did buying all those newspapers, which I allege in 2009 was antitrust violations. You can't buy all the newspapers in a market. And... <coughs> You haven't monopolized the market. You monopolized the freaking market, Mayor Bloomberg. And she tried that same crap right here with these guys about this. So somebody came by, put something on your little niece, put her in a little coma. <laughs> orgasm after orgasm. And then all of a sudden you're trying to say somebody orchestrating a death threat against you. No. You were about to lose your seat to Mr. Nunez. Nunez was about to bust your behind and take your seat. Huntley won't flinch after threat at her home. How in the hell I know where you live at? You and Malcolm Smith, this freaking idiot right here, concerned about this. What in the hell you worried about? Shirley Huntley, your son is homeless in the street, hanging on Sutphin Boulevard and Jamaica Avenue. Oh, this is the press release, okay? Press release of the uh, of political accountability documentary that came on TV. Mon Monica Pringle called me, telling me, what you going to campaign against us for? Because Ida Smith was working for you, and you took all of my stuff, and now it's residents and Huntley decry NYCHA. All in the same freaking paper, and it's all bullshit. Okay? It's all bullshit. You just signed for New York City Housing Authority to federalize 21 freaking developments. You, Malcolm Smith, and Vivian Cook. You are signed for NYCHA to put 21 developments in a limited liability corporation 
and mortgage it for a half a billion dollars and then you had a tax-free bond issue that went all to the rich instead of these people being able to buy those bonds and in 10 years get out of housing and you're talking about you for you you for NYCHA residents you are for NYCHA residents Miss Huntley you're a liar you're a liar but that's alright that's alright because this was your kangaroo court prosecution okay but the political accountability documentary is on P-H-I-L-D-R-I-C-E-2 did you see Mrs. Green Mrs. Forney Green that's the one Mrs. Huntley that you said you are for seniors and you're a liar you are bowed before her because you're a liar I told you I'd make you bow I told you I'd help you understand I'm a French green card guy. I'm not going to be no good Negro under you being led by a bunch of freaking moron thieves, cheats, crooks. You're not leading me no freaking where because you ain't out of slavery. I'm a free man. You still emancipated. Alright? I'm tired of the discrimination of African Americans, of the old civil rights cockamamie nonsense of decades and decades ago that you lost it after Martin Luther King Malcolm X died y'all ain't did jack y'all wasn't in nothing y'all ain't did nothing you're stealing money you're lying you're cheap you're a bunch of crooks and you're doing it with a bunch of preachers like with Floyd Flake with the parking lot scandal with with Congressman Meeks we're getting kickbacks of hundreds of thousands of dollars putting into a church non-profit a black church non-profit so y'all can just these are reefs that one this one that one that one and this one. They have Indian markings because this is a Indian neighborhood. These are the reefs. See, these are flowers. See, this is also for bereavement. How much is right here? Dollar rainbow. Okay. Uh, this one is 30. Now, this is for love and affection. That one right there. That's nice. That's a bouquet of flowers right there. Okay. So this is the setup for, thank you very much ma'am, I appreciate it. This is the setup right here, okay, for me to show that if somebody wanted to orchestrate a death threat against New York State Senator Huntley, they wouldn't go buy a five dollar bouquet of flowers that says rest in peace on it and put it on the freaking front doorstep, which is what was in the newspapers, okay? How do y'all do this crap? Who do you think is that goddamn stupid? Huh? And then the Southeast Peace Press helps you to commit this election fraud to bring out the black church, to bring out the black vote, Senator Huntley. Lester Mules, come on, man. What you doing? Who did it? I don't know. It ain't got nothing to do with me. But when you have Tom Cradle write a newspaper story about the other homeless people, and me and her son is in front of the library with Tom Crater. And introduce them to the security office so I know who they are, I can go back and so somebody can ask him those questions. Was, was Dreis, the Stutter State, the State Senator Huntley, were together and talking to Tom Crater right there and about what time and here it is. That's what I'm talking about. You guys are caught because you're so intelligent. Okay? You guys are caught. Those what you saw right there, those are reefs. That's what you put as a, some kind of come on, okay? Now I'm going to show you the newspaper article. You have your nice day. Bye. I have nothing else to do. You destroyed my life, made me homeless, remember? <laughs> I want you to have a lot of explaining to do. You see these flowers? This is not what somebody puts in the, on the doorstep of a state senator that, that means a death threat. These flowers, 
just like these right here on the bouquet that was in the newspapers in the Southeast Queens Press about a death threat against New York State. So some New York State Senator Huntley was a lie, it was a fraud, it was election fraud to bring out the black church because she's from down south, I think north of South Carolina. They got this whole black code, this slave code, lived by a black law. And when you get somebody that high, all the downtrodden colored Negro, ah, they're trying to get her, they're trying to put her And it's bull crap. They want to bring out the black church, to bring out the black vote, because you had a fledging campaign, and Nunez from down here, one of those Indians, right? <laughs> One of those Indians was about to bust your ass and take your freaking seat. And then, you, you, yeah, it's all about bringing out the black church in order to bring out the black vote against the immigrant Indian population that put their guy up as Mr. Nunez. There it is, right there. There it is, right there. There it is, right there. For him, he was representing immigrants and African Americans, and you African Americans wanted to steal the freaking show. That's what the hell you did, State Senator Huntley, because Nunez was going to bust your behind and take your goddamn seat. That's it right there. Got you. Your oh, I walk from Howard Beach to here, 120th Street and Atlantic Avenue. That's from 162nd Avenue off the Q53 bus in Howard Beach. I walked all the way up here. I ain't got nothing else to do, people. Nothing else to do. I have no friends. No girls. You know, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, I cannot tell you. There is nothing more important than what I want. Not no damn car. I don't want no car. Not no woman. That's real nice too. I don't even want that. I don't need no luxury. I don't need nothing. When I told you about a reef, if somebody wanted to put a death threat on New York State Senator Huntley, as I know people that if you want to do that, you actually have to show them one of these. That's what I'm talking about. That's a total freaking fraud what you've done, State Senator Huntley. Okay? That's what I'm talking This is a reef. That's what you put on somebody's doorstep if you want to tell them you want to kill them. Oh, you're dead. I did no such thing. Somebody put some bullshit flowers in front of a door, and then suddenly there's some death threat. That goes to show how even all the black preachers are so damn dumb. Nobody looked at it. Nobody thought about anything. They just tell you that because you see it in the newspaper, because they call the newspaper up, and they're rigged with the newspaper by buying advertising from the newspaper, so anything those politicians tell them is gold. That's bull crap. Bull crap. Bull crap. Bull crap. You're in a lot of trouble and got a lot of explaining to do because if you didn't show me one of these in front of your doorstep, you orchestrated that crap. State Senator Huntley, whoever did it in your camp, you've taken responsibility, baby. Bye-bye.